think also something that you mentioned earlier about how, as you say, like we couldn't have done anything without these people. It's kind of similar if you look at what the response in England has been with our frontline NHS and our postmen, our binmen, you know, all the people that we really wouldn't have been able to survive without. And, you know, I think it's such an important message um, to share with people. So I, I, I totally agree with you. I mean, I think what people are realizing about slavery is that without resilient communities, we will not end it. And those people on the front line are our hands, they're our feet, they're, they're our hearts. There are love for those people. We cannot do this work without them. Thank you so much, Luke, for your time. I know that you're an incredibly busy man with two children, one on the way, and your wife is the doctor, and I don't know how you're keeping the trains running right now. So it's very, very impressive. To summarize for our listeners, I think the key takeaway from today's conversation with Luke is that it's going to be after lockdown that human trafficking really needs everyone's help as businesses reopen and there's a rat race to get back to normal life that's when we need to be as aware as ever and keep our eyes open and help our communities i think also luke you made a very good point around covid and exposing those most vulnerable in the supply chain and it being those people actually producing our goods that are the ones that are getting the most hurt and the ones that can take it the least. Thank you both for doing this. Honestly, you guys are great and you're doing such a wonderful job at cohering this movement, bringing people together. Thank you for what you do. Thank you.